Subscribe to Motoroids for the most in-depth and detailed car and bike reviews. Hit that bell icon and you will be notified before everyone else. Hey guys, welcome to Motoroids.com and today we have something really crazy for you. What you see right behind me is India's first aerodrome rescue and fire fighting equipment and there is no other such system anywhere in India right now. This is the first of its kind and it's available only in Mumbai. Obviously some other airports are going to import it very soon but for now this is the only one and we have been given this opportunity to see this thing in action and it's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and see how this equipment is used and how it can, God forbid, save some passengers lives if there is no other way to rescue them. So to start off, first we need to understand that there are these fire engines right here which would be used as a first mean uh, for firefighting. This is an auxiliary system, what you just saw is an auxiliary system and it is something that would be called in action if these things are not able to rescue and firefight. The scope of this vehicle is for situations where the sliding chute has not been deployed or is damaged. It facilitates rescuers to access the airplane when nothing else would be able to access the airplane's doors. It's also an equipment which can be used for a forced entry. It's something that can be used to remove the smoke from the cabin. And finally, it's also something which would help the disabled to get out from the airplane when it's not possible for them to use the inflated chute. And for category 10 airports like Mumbai, it's important for the firefighting vehicles to reach the aircraft in a time of two minutes. They have a separate firefighting department with all these vehicles, with personnel who are trained and whose fitness is monitored from time to time. However, if all of that is not sufficient and in case where an aircraft has crash landed and is not in a serviceable kind of a condition, this is something which is going to be useful. The chassis of this truck has been made by man while the equipment by itself is by Rosenbauer which is uh, an Austrian company and uh, this is really expensive although we don't know the cost of it we have not been told what the price of this equipment is but obviously it's going to be very very expensive so to start off let's have a look at what this vehicle looks like so it's a 3xl setup and as you can see there are two jacks one up front and one at the rear and this can handle a surface discrepancy of up to 200 mm so if the rear and the front have a difference of 200 mm this would be able to level it without any problem right now as you can see it's been deployed and uh, although uh, what it's been deployed at is a roof but think of it as a door of an aircraft and you'll get the full picture. So the height, the maximum height that it can go to is 8.3 meters and uh, that's all the height you need for the current set of aircraft that you have. Also inside the vehicle you have presets to access the exact height of doors for all the commercial aircrafts that are available in India and internationally. So adjust the press of the button you'd be able to make it rise to a certain height uh, without any problems. Now inside the cabin obviously you have all the controls to deploy uh, this ladder and the rescue uh, equipment and uh, all of that is controlled by this bevy of buttons here and here is how you control all of that equipment. So this is the button to activate the panel. Right. This is the emergency stop switch here. This is the master switch that engages the power takeoff or engages the power. This is uh, the auto switch that extends the platform with just one touch. It has to be pressed in uh, convention with the yes. master switch. These are the hydraulic jack buttons for uh, pushing them up or pulling them down. And these are the extension and retraction buttons for the staircase. This is the extraction and retraction of the A-frame cylinder for the, the change in height. If you want to change the height somewhat, you can use these buttons. And the platform that we showed you on top, you can extend or retract the platform using these two buttons here. And you can control the lights using three buttons and the good part about these lights is that they are anti-glare so these are special lights not your normal lights. Now the things that it can do is obviously first and foremost it can help people get rescued from the aircraft by providing this exit route. It's enclosed from side to side so there is no chance of someone falling. Now since it's deployed we are going to just climb up and see how it looks when it's deployed. So as you can see this ramp has been deployed here although you have stairs here you don't have a clear ramp but the stairs are uh, entire skid and there's no chance of you slipping and let's move up and see what all equipment we have up there so now we are at the top and we are at a height of a maximum of 8.3 meters and right now these people have removed this platform from what was supposed to be the door of an aircraft however if you look here closely you'll see that you have all these buttons here which control the movement of this platform and while right now this is not extended you get the flexibility of extending it to 
as long as one meter. The platform can swivel by one meter from side to side and it can also go up and down by one meter. So that provides a lot of flexibility to this platform and if there is a surface which is uneven and if you want to make some final adjustments, those can be made using these buttons here and uh, that really can be controlled at the last moment. Apart from this, you get this firefighting equipment here and uh, this gun here can release uh, foam at the rate of 38 liters per minute and the total volume of the tank is 50 liters so that makes it good for about 10 to 15 minutes of firefighting however uh, since it's a trigger it would sometimes be on sometimes be off so the actual firefighting time would be more and also you have a hose here so you can continuously keep filling the foam while the firefighting operation is on and uh, that would extend the firefighting capabilities of this equipment so that's that guys uh, this vehicle is meant for rescue and firefighting and in conditions, situation scenarios where a normal firefighting truck would not be able to handle the situation very well. This specially made truck would be useful. Even in hijack situations, this would have to play a part. It was really interesting having a look at this vehicle and we really hope that it was interesting to you. If you found it useful, do hit the like button, subscribe to Motoroids, follow us on Instagram and until next time then, this is Amit Changani signing off. Rev hard, rev free and drive safe.